Tango down. Hey shooters, we're in Russia today on the brand new map stockpile. Let's find these warheads. Alright guys, today we're looking at the map stockpile. And uh, I'm a big fan of this map. It's a little blown out Russian, Russian village and there are some nuclear warheads hidden throughout the map. They have no bearings on actual multiplayer gameplay. That's just a little bit of fluff for you guys. If you pull over this way, this house is really great because it gives a clear shot straight over to A and there's a nice retreat path right there. Uh, there's a lot of windows you can shoot out from, a lot of different vantage points. It's a nice place to go if you start on Seaside. Yeah, see, you can just claim more, escape from the building, get some kills, progress your way to your final kill streak. Gives good cover as well. Just watch out for noob tubers because they will tube straight into this building as soon as they start. Alright, so it's right off the bat on the game. I almost have my SR-71. So, looks like my team already took A. And uh, this is if I went the opposite way. Spawning on C, going left. Move my way towards the church right there, which is right in front of me. Or whatever it is. It I look, looks like a church, so I call it a church. It actually is probably like a train station or something ridiculous like that. Uh, that actually chain link fence gives great cover in terms of visibility so you can stand behind it and shoot dudes straight through it and you will be a little more difficult to see than normal so uh, any advantage is a good advantage in my opinion uh, right here we can get him spawn trap pretty tight if we had my teammates who are pushing right as I am pushing left right here but unfortunately they are not very smart so we could not end up spawn trapping them, but this is where you would do it if uh, if uh, my teammates would have hold the right side. But see, so these guys are all over the place. And those actual trucks can't be shot from underneath because they have boxes and stuff. So. And right now they just took C, so uh, I'll explain to you guys how to go back to that point and take this area over here. Right now I'm so close to dogs that uh, I guess I'm just kind of holding out. I really want to get the final kill streak before I can, you know, get stabbed in the back or noob tubed or something stupid like that. All right, those gates can be open if you hold the uh, hold X at the green light box next to it. But uh, I highly recommend not opening any of the gates unless you absolutely have to, because a they completely give your position away and completely give away what you're doing. And there's usually someone going prone right on the other side. And they're going to blast your feet as soon as it raises it up a couple inches. So be careful with that. Claymore in the doors is always a good idea, though. This door right here gives some pretty decent cover, but uh, you don't want to stay there for too long. Um, this route right here, there's a lot of traffic on this side. This is a very, very high traffic area. You can use that truck in front of you as cover. And always watch out for people inside that building. There are a couple windows that you need to look out for. So just be careful on this side. This back this back route that I took is always the route I take when I go down this way because there's it's such a long avenue of approach right here that I'm moving up that... Uh, snipers or any rifleman can just pick you off running um, because it shoots straight back into their spawn. If you take this route up here, you can get up to B and um, you can cover B from this side. Watch out though because if you're covering B from what, where I was right there, then you're going to get shot from both sides because there are enemies who can come from both angles. This window right here is a nice way to get a lot of kills. You can spawn trap them in A from this point if you have other people on the right. But again, my teammates uh, don't understand that, so they're uncoordinated. It's not it's not their fault. I just 
you know, I have a, I have everyone muted when I'm playing so that they don't interrupt my recording, so I can't really tell them what to do. So I just have to kind of vocalize to you during the voiceover uh, what I, you know, an ideal situation would have been. Uh, this gas station over here, this little area here, A is, A is pretty, pretty decent to hold, I would say, in terms of points uh, compared to C. Because C is kind of wide open and uh, A is easier to capture. But uh, again, I look, this side is crazy. This is a very high traffic area. Always watch out for that window. And that about wraps it up for stockpile, guys. Remember to stick to the dark side of the map. That was the side I ended on. Uh, that's what I call the dark side. And... It's a high, high traffic area, and by stick to it, I mean always keep eyes on it. You'll get a lot of kills from that point. Remember to move between the houses, and that, by that I mean move in between the houses. A lot of alleyways and back entrances and areas you can go around the houses to get a lot of kills. Um, B and A are the best points to hold. C is a little bit too open for my taste. It's... it's um, there's a lot of areas you can get hit from, and the great thing about A is that you can actually have cover from above, so they can't really nade you, they can't really RPG you unless they get really, really close. So, Claymore in that place up, and capturing A is is best. So, that way you can kind of trap them and see. Uh, B is kind of hard to hold, but uh, if you get enough people to cover the different entrances uh, and you get a lot of people on the actual point, you can capture pretty quick. And holding B is pretty much cake after that. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you have any requests, send them to request at mahalo.com or tweet us at video games.